Good morning. So today is the day when I set up the interactive notebooks with my students. I love using interactive notebooks. I like how they can write their Cornell notes on one side and then do a thinking map or their models on the other side. I don't like how long it takes my students when they have to do some type of foldable though, like with the cutting and the gluing and doing those type of um, activities in their active notebooks. So for those activities, I do use the digital notebook for those. But for Cornell notes, for creating models, for processing their thinking, I love interactive notebooks. So to help my students out and to make the process so much faster to get through, creating and setting up their interactive notebook, I have a little process I wanna take you through. So first I start with just reviewing what they learned in kindergarten about how much glue should go on a piece of paper. And I have a little presentation pair deck where we're going over some basic stuff. I'm also introducing them to the flipped classroom model today. So I have a video I'm showing them. We're going over the syllabus today but then they're gonna be looking at different pictures that have glue on paper, and they're going to vote on the one that they should be using. And this is just to remind them that what they learned back in kindergarten about the amount of glue you should use on paper, they need to continue on in eighth grade. Then what I have here is my stack of papers, and they're all ready to go. And I do put them in different colors, so that way it's easy for the students to find exactly which one they need. So I have my syllabus ready to go. I have my flipped um, classroom parent letter ready to go, classroom procedures. I have the CER and rubric, common thinking tools that they'll be using, their digital citizenship, and I have their first learning skills for their first standard, where my students actually track. Here they have the standard. It tells them what um, they need to do to hit the standard and go above, and then they'll be tracking their progress with their assignments as we go. One thing else that I also do is I do not personally pass out the notebooks. Once the students are in their groups, I have one person from the group come to the back here, grab enough notebooks for every person in their group, and then go sit back down. It makes it a whole lot faster. To save time, what I do is I actually show them on my projector what they're gonna do. So I'll take them through the whole entire process of which page to do. I'll have them show them the the pages that go on which side. And here's the thing, I do one page at a time, I will model it. And then while they're gluing that page down, I am quickly going around and passing out the next page. So that way they don't have all the pages at one time. They're gonna get one page at a time. I will model how to glue it in, I'll put it in here. And then as they're doing it, I quickly pass out the other one. And since all of my students are in groups, I can just quickly put the number I need for that group onto the desk and we're ready to go. I also supply each group a supply box and in the supply box, there is one bottle of glue. But on days like this, I do throw in an extra bottle so that way for groups of four students, they are sharing only one bottle. So there's one bottle for two students and that again helps the process go much faster. So that is how I quickly do my interactive notebooks. And an activity like this with all these pages going into it, with students having to get the notebooks, glue them in, this whole thing takes me less than 10 minutes to do.